<laughs> Welcome back to Bottom Tier, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with Jason, and we are playing some Earthbound. Uh, thank you for joining us. I know it's been kind of a long journey to get where we're at, but we wouldn't have it any other way. And we're not even like a quarter of the way through the game. No. Uh, Jason had a really funny thought that he wanted to share. No, he does not. I don't feel it's appropriate for this video. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sure it is. <clears throat> share it. Uh, share it, Jay. God, fine. Anthony, if you're watching this, well, fuck. Maybe you shouldn't have told me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Um, my, my buddy Anthony is a, a big Earthbound fan like I am, and he's often referred to by other people as Tony, who is the kid who helps Jeff get over the wall. And his birthday is, I think, like two or three days away from Tony's birthday in-game. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of talk in the community and through interviews and whatnot that, uh, no, you have to go back to the shop. That uh, Tony is super duper gay for Jeff. Yeah. And my buddy Anthony is is pretty super duper gay. Yeah. God, you're slow. I, I, I didn't think I would have to spell out the connection there. <sighs> Do I have to spell it out for you, Colton? Yes, that he's super duper gay. Is that what you're going for? Sure. Let's just let's just get this started. I don't know. I'm sorry. I checked out in the middle of your story. <sighs> uh, I don't get paid enough for this shit. I got a monkey. I got the pack of bubble gum. I love the pack was spelled P-A-K, like what they used to call the cartridges, the game packs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. But you're actually gonna fight some things while you're out here. Yeah. Not much. You're not gonna. You're not gonna be leveling. You're just. You're just going. Uh, check your inventory. You've got a bottle rocket, right? Uh, no, I do not. Yeah, you do. At the very top, big bottle rocket. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't use that unless you get in a fight with the the big fucking slow caveman. Okay. Because otherwise he will he will fuck you in the mouth with his big old caveman dick. And you don't want that. No, I don't. I'd rather keep my life caveman penis free if we can help it. But you might not get a choice. Uh-oh, some spiteful crows. Oh, I'm bringing the sprite. Spite, fuck. Not the sprite. sprite. Yeah, I'm bringing the, the sprite. The spiteful crows. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> fuck your couch! That was easy. <laughs> that was a really weak, spiteful crow. He left a present, and it was a cookie. I'm going to abandon this cookie, much as I abandoned all cookies before it. <laughs> you dishonor your family by abandoning cookies. But the cookies in this game kind of suck ass. They do. They're not... It's not like they're Chips Ahoy or Oreo. Like, Let's be real. They're those... I can't even they're, say that they're, they're they're cookie brand cookies. Yeah, I can't even say that they're like the you know the little flower cookies that have the middles missing, they're like those ring cookies you get like when you're younger. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if like you remember those. Cookies. Yeah, well they're kind of like graham cracker cookies almost. I can't even say they're those because I legitimately like those. I fucks with those. Oh, I, d I don't want to be any part of what that goat is selling, do I? <laughs> it's not super strong. You can you can take There's it. There's a tent here. I'm going to check it out. Something evil is going on. Why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink, perhaps some tea? Yes. Maybe it's you lousy bastards are in their area. So did that heal and me up? Yes, it's a full heal. Why did it make a level up sound? I think that's the same sound you hear. Or like, no, it was a battle sleep. victory sound. It was a do 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 da Maybe the T was that hardcore. That I won a battle against it? Yeah. yeah. What kind of tea are you fucking drinking? Smithfield's tea. The best kind. Reed has the best kind. <laughs> Reed has... Is it just me or does his chest look like a pair of testicles? It does a little bit. Now I can't stop scaring at, staring <laughs> at the goat scrote. 
Can you, can you put- Hashtag goat scrub. I don't know. Don't stop hashtagging things. God, now I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to make the title of the episode hashtag goat scrub. Goat scrub. What was the- was I can't the stop looking at its weird testicle chest. It's weird chesticles. <laughs> There was a counter I wanted to make in Double Dragon Neon, but now I can't remember what it was. It was Yam Counter. <laughs> oh, that's right, Yam. How, hashtag Yam Counter. How, how did you already... I don't know what I'm throwing away and what I'm gaining. Threw away the cookie and took the salt packet. <laughs> <laughs> Art's now frustrated. <laughs> and that kid says the importance of paying attention. <laughs> Sometimes, if you don't pay attention, you get a packet of salt. It didn't taste very good. <laughs> yeah, if you, uh, if you use a condiment that doesn't go with the food, it will, it won't help, and it will suck. What, what do the condiments do otherwise? They increase healing effects, usually. Oh, like I could put, like, salt on, like, fries. Yeah. Or, like, ketchup on, like, a hamburger. Or, like, a jar of deli sauce in your coffee. Does that really help? No, why the fuck would that help? You put deli sauce in coffee? Do you even do you even coffee? I put deli sauce in your coffee. <laughs> Jokes on you. I don't drink coffee. Well, I don't know whose coffee I fucked, but I fucked somebody's <laughs> coffee. I fucked somebody's. Yeah, I think you're supposed to go ahead and stand on that little spot. I can't remember if you have to sleep first though. You see the you see the little circle on the little peninsula? Yeah. The please stand here marker. Yes. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. Go for it, bad boy. That's not creepy. That was. Maybe that's not something we say to, uh... To little kids? I uh, used a pack of bubblegum. Okay, I think you have to sleep in one of the other tents first. Yeah, because when you come out, the wind is blowing and blah, blah, blah. And it's going to carry the monkey away. No. Hell no. I was kind of hoping. Eat that monkey. That monkey's important. You better recognize. The Tessie Watching Club. No, no. Now, there's, now you get it. There's no need to pay me. Jay, head south. If you hear this message, go to the south. Jason, go to the south. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> Jason. The broken spray can became the... Spray can. Oh, I fixed a thing. Yes. Was that random it, or was that supposed to happen right then? It depends on your IQ. If your IQ is at a certain point, you can fix certain broken objects when you go to sleep. He's a nerd, so he stays up all night and fixes shit. Instead of actually sleeping, that piece of shit? Yeah, pretty much. How dare he be useful. Oh no. Is it time already for Fuzzy Pickles? It is time again for Fuzzy Pickles. Or cheese sandwich, if you prefer. But knowing Colton, he prefers Fuzzy Pickles. I only prefer one <laughs> Fuzzy Pickle, Jason, and we know whose Fuzzy Pickle that is. Yeah, it's Ryan's. It's yours. No, that's a fuzzy pineapple, <laughs> and I don't want any part of it. Kaki <laughs> kaku. Yes, that's the monkey language. Kaki kukeko. Lolly lule lo. Lolly lule lo. Oh god, is the monkey gonna get eaten by Tessie? No! <laughs> no, don't do it! <laughs> okay. Look at that doofy face. Yeah, they're both making doofy faces. Jason, are you upset? <laughs> that is the face of, are you upset? It really is. Have you been taken by my ruse crew? There is no need to be upset. <laughs> we summon... Okay, let's recap this I episode. Fear, I fear you have been misled. Let's, let's recap this episode for just a moment. We okay. stole some gum... I used the small orphan child as a step stool to escape a prison. <laughs> I slept in a tent 
and then I summoned the Loch Ness monster to use as a boat. <laughs> hey, hey, we don't call it the Loch Ness monster. With a, I don't want to get, I don't want to get sued by Scotland. With the monkey that chews bubble gum. <laughs> I don't want to get sued by the entire country of Scotland. So ten out of test. ten. Ten out of ten game. Best game. Would play. <laughs> Are playing. Don't you remember the episode of The Simpsons when uh, they parodied The Shining? No. It's called The Shining! You want to get sued? <laughs> Alright. I appear to have uh, not ended the cutscene yet. Okay, there we go. Now you've ended the cutscene. No, wrong way. North? No, south. Didn't you just hear the bitch? She said go south, dumbass. Much like when most women are talking, I checked out. Ah, oh, that's fair. You gotta fight that Billy Goat Gruff. Uh, I can't stop looking at it. It's like it's got a fifth hoof. <laughs> I can see its moose knuckle. And it rammed and trampled you down. It's gonna start teabagging me with its gross front <laughs> testicles. <laughs> you will never unsee it. I can't, and now everyone else has to suffer. You're welcome, Internet. It's been my pleasure. It's so terrifying. I'm. <laughs> There's some other pretty weird shit inside the, uh, inside the cave. Does it involve goat testicles? Because I could pr I probably had enough of those for one day. Uh, no, no, it does not, thankfully. What does using the ruler do? Nothing. It's just one of the things he uses when he fixes stuff. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Yeah, it was made by Dungeon Man. Welcome to my modest dungeon. Brick Road. Yeah, Brick Road, the Dungeon Man. Wait, there's a guy who goes around making dungeons? Yeah, he wants to become one with a dungeon. That's a weird thing to want. And he's a weird kind of guy. I just fucking goofed. <laughs> I got really lucky. You did. No amount of... There is a way, there is a healing spot in here, like a bench you can sleep on. Like some kind of homeless person. No amount of swearing or postulating will ever indicate to the audience accurately how lucky I just got. You did get incredibly lucky. Because I'm out of... Uh... I think your hit points are maxed. Or just about. Yeah. Because Jeff does not have a lot of HP right now in the game. Well, he's got to get caught up. Why did that present run at me? Because they're mimics. The mad duck. The duck that's... Look at those creepy ass eyes. It's like somebody glued googly eyes to a duck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's illegal in some states. <laughs> I don't think it's illegal in ours. No, this is North Carolina. You can do whatever you want to it. You could, you could have rough. Please, please don't go where you think you're going. <laughs> what? I know what you were going to say. What? You were going to say you could have rough, violent <laughs> sex with a duck. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say okay, you could okay. have rough, violent, oral sex with a duck. Noisily, um, in fact. In the middle of, like, a Kmart, and no one would so much as bat an eyelash. <laughs> I'm glad we had this discussion. No, wait. I'm really not. That one was kind of weird, even for me. No, that one didn't do it for you? No, I'm good. The worthless protoplasm. <laughs> we found a dragon dildo. I'm sure Alec will be delighted. <laughs> Our friend Alec has, has really fallen in love with the weird parts of the internet. He truly has. And so he'll be delighted to know that we... We found a dragon dildo. Is there anything we haven't talked about on the show? Uh, no, I think we've pretty much covered everything. I don't think anything's been off topic so far. It's kind of hard to be off topic on an internet snow show where you just do whatever snow. you snow. On an internet Al Snow where you just do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about being a part of Al Snow. I don't know how Al Snow feels about being a part of Al Snow. Probably not good. 
For those of you who don't know, I can tell you that. For those of you who don't know who Al Snow is, is it time already for another photo? Yes. Why? Very close to the end of the dungeon. This is this is a really short dungeon. Yeah, but like, what what is the rhyme or reason to this guy ever showing up? Because this is an important event. Jeff's about to meet up with his dad. Okay, but why? Maybe he likes. Is he just a weird? Is he just a weird homeless photographer following me everywhere? <laughs> Who has magical teleportation powers? Ha! <laughs> the joke's on you, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Joke is Jeff time. never could use PSI, and I died. <sighs> How far back is it gonna take me? It'll take you, I think, to the little camp. Uh... Oh no! Okay, it just takes you outside the dungeon. Oh boy, it's a butterfly that doesn't help you. I want it. I have to have it, Jason. That's because you're greedy. No, shut up. You're shut up. I bet you wish you had a pencil eraser right now. You can go suck a pencil. Why does the monkey stop every so often to consider his life choices? Because look who he's hanging out with. Alright, I'm gonna fuck this duck. <laughs> up. I guess I should have <laughs> I should have finished that sentence. Yeah, I'm glad you did. This duck is going down. Fuck, no, that doesn't sound better. That doesn't sound better. <laughs> that does not sound better at all. But I am giving this duck the work. Are you giving it the business? I am. I'm in the business of giving it the business. Oh, yep. I think I think we're about time. I think it's about time to end this episode. I think we're closing in on it. Nope, we got three minutes. Oh, neat. I probably have time to get to the end of this dungeon. Probably, yeah. A croissant! A croissant! A croissant! Nice try. <laughs> Fucking protoplasm tried to touch my protoplasm, but it wasn't happening. I... Not today. Uh, Not today. I, I don't think you have protoplasm. Listen. Listen, okay? No, you listen. Oh, wait. I have whatever the fuck I want to have. You don't tell me how I identify. All right? Yes, I do. You don't. Yeah, I do. You don't. I actually do. It's in my contract. Is it? We, we signed contracts for this? Yeah. Well, I signed a contract for you. Oh, what did it say? <laughs> that I get to tell you how you self-identify. Oh. Damn it. It wasn't a really... It wasn't a stringent contract. Oh, that's all it said? Yeah, that was pretty much it. I guess... Oh. Well, then. You really should read the contract I signed <laughs> for you. <laughs> I, I don't even have time in this episode to explain it. All right. If you get to choose how I identify, I'm choosing everything about your life for the next 10 years. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I looked away from the screen while I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's Brick Road. Devoted my life to making dungeons. Doctor and Donuts. <laughs> Jeff and Donuts and Doctor and Donuts. The first combination of human and dungeon <laughs> in history. Would you like to sleep next to this creepy man in the middle of the wilderness? In a in, in a dungeon he designed. Not even that. You have to sleep outdoors. Ugh. Next to this man. This has been an experience. He's gonna watch. Don't worry. He'll watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. The magic butterfly made Jay relax and exercise in futility. You 
have no idea. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Bottom Tier. Thanks for sticking with us through Earthbound. We are not by any stretch of the imagination even close to done yet. We got plenty more fun, wholesome Earthbound action coming at you next time. Wholesome. Yes. Wholesome, Jason. This is a family show. We don't talk about fucking ducks at all. (laughs) 